Hey everyone, I'm Gary Hoban and welcome to Refinery Life Australia. Our goal here is to release a new video and podcast every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And as we move through February, we're studying the spiritual gifts and the theme is gifts of the Holy Spirit. It's important to remember that a positive response on our part as believers to the Father's gift of the Holy Spirit is absolutely essential if we are to truly be God's people. And today we're discussing calling Jesus Lord. The text we're reading from is 1 Corinthians 12 3 and it says, Therefore I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. If you want to read some more, have a look at 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 7. Now we're talking about spiritual gifts in, in 12, 1 to 7. It says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols. However, you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but the same God who empowers them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Now the most profound thought that crosses human mind is the love of God as it's revealed through Jesus. Well, that's what I think anyway. It is beyond our understanding that Jesus would come to earth and live and die for humankind's sin, providing salvation for those who have faith in him. Now that faith comes about in the theme of this message. The basic work of the Holy Spirit is to lead those who are lost to an intelligent and yet simple confession of Jesus as Lord. No one can make this confession without the gift of the Holy Spirit. First, consider some general comments about the confession. There are two observations regarding the true test of the Spirit of God. First, the nature is always intelligent, intelligible. And second, the Holy Spirit always focuses attention on Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit's main goal is to glorify Christ and secure Christ's Lordship in people's lives. In other words, the ministry of the Holy Spirit is Christ-centered. The true test of any work of the Spirit is the place it gives Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit directs all His powers towards Jesus' glorification. The confession of Jesus as Lord distinguishes believers from unbelievers. This confession becomes the basis of all other gifts that will be considered in, in later messages as we go through this, this theme. And unless a person has accepted Jesus as Saviour and has made him Lord, there is no way the Spirit can give additional gifts. Second, consider how the Holy Spirit enables people to acknowledge Jesus as the Lord. He reveals the sinfulness of sin in John 16, 8. And it says, And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Conviction of sin is a prerequisite to repentance and receiving the divine nature. We all want to be more like God. The sin referred to in John 16.8 is failure to believe in Jesus as the Saviour. Reprove is a legal term, implying 
the presentation of evidence as proof. It brings to light true character. He reveals the certainty of truth about righteousness. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Matthew 15, 36. It says, And he answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. In revealing the truth, the Word takes prominence. The Word is both incarnate, John 1, 14, Jesus Christ, and it is written in the Bible. Holy Spirit reveals Christ's sufficiency. John 16, 14 to 15 says, He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. For people to be saved from their sinful nature, they must realize that they're sinners. The Holy Spirit makes them aware of this fact. After they come to realize that their sinful condition, they must see Jesus as sufficient to save them from any sin. This is also the Holy Spirit's work. So as we finish up today, at this time, is it right to do some soul searching? Yes, it is. The questions we need to ask ourselves is, is Jesus your saviour? Are you aware of your sinful condition? And do you know that Jesus is Lord? And do you see him as that? The Holy Spirit's at work. He wants you to be saved. Listen to him. Speaking to your heart. And commit your life to Jesus as your saviour. If you're getting something from these videos and this podcast, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share it with a friend. And let us know how we can walk with you as you walk with Christ. And until next time, stay in the blessings.